Isaiah chapter 66 verse 15 For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakapodash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for better. Slain of the Lord shall be many, man. Another reason why we should fear the Lord Yeah, yeah Another lesson on fearing the God of the Bible Yes, another Yes Y-E-S Yes Another lesson on fearing Yahweh by Shem Yahushai Which is what? Which is the beginning of knowledge You should know that already, you Hebrew Israelites The Lord said I'm coming to kill a whole lot of people Another reason why we should fear the Lord, man He's not coming to play games. The Lord is coming to, 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 to knock tops off, man. You know? The straight up split wigs, as the saying goes. You know? To give you the business. That's why we must repent. We must stay repenting to Yahweh by Shem Because remember, it's a fearful thing to fall into his hands. But you thought he was all nice. Your pastor said he, he's all lovey-dovey. He loves all the little children all over the world. But what is the scripture saying? Isaiah chapter 66 verse 15 For behold, and the word behold means to look Now look Look at what the Lord is saying man Look and listen man The Lord will come with fire Not love, not hugs, not kisses But fire man Simultaneously Who you eagerly call Jesus Lord Yahweh Shai He's going to come with the heavenly hosts, which you would call angels, which the scriptures call angels, and, and multiple chariots, man, thousands upon thousands of chariots, which you eagerly call UFOs, man. And it's coming with fire, shooting laser beams out of the chariots, and then on top of that, simultaneously, the ICBM missiles coming, man. The intercontinental ballistic missiles, which will be shot from Russia, China, North Korea, Iran, so forth and so on, man, to destroy this place, right? And with this chariots, like a whirlwind, that's, that's some that's some eagerly called UFOs, them chariots, man. And the scriptures say it's gonna be thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands. Let's get that. Psalm chapter 68, verse 17. The chariots with the eagerly called UFOs of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, are 20,000. Even thousands of angels. What is this devil gonna do? When thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of chariots crack the skies, man. You know, and the technology is you can't even put a, a year on it. Some people say it's million years ahead of ahead of this man's technology. No, don't put a number on the technology of your how about Shim You can't rate it. You can't rate it. Psalm 68. And 17, the chariots of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah are 20,000. Even thousands of angels, the Lord Yahweh Shah, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy places, man. So the Lord is among the angels with the chariots, man. And he said, he bringing fire with him, right? So let's go back. Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. And with this chariots like a whirlwind tearing up everything. Them chariots coming to tear up everything, right? To render his anger with fury. And the Lord is coming piss the hell off, man. Angry is on no way, right? To render his anger with fury. And his rebuke with flame of fire. That's why we must repent. The Lord ain't playing. That's why we must be. That's why we must fear. You how about Shem Shah? See a scripture like this, you're supposed to be shaking in your boots. The, the Lord pretty much said, you, you don't fear me. You hear my words come out. You don't fear me. For by fire and by his sword, 
will the Lord plead with all flesh and the word plead means to judge this is how he gonna judge the wicked people of the earth man with fire you see and with this sword you see the slain look look and the slain of the Lord meaning the people that the Lord is gonna kill and the slain of the Lord shall be many now second Ezra the eighth chapter I already told you verse three Many are created, but few shall be saved. The Lord is coming to rip these people apart, man. Limb to limb, man. Limb to limb. St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 28. And fear not them which can kill the body. Our people are scared of sleazy, so they're willing to comply to everything this man said, even though it goes contrary to the words of the Bible, right? The book that they're supposed to believe in, right? Their first love, right? And fear not them which can kill the body. But are not able to kill the soul. The only thing this man can do is take the flesh. He can't do nothing else after that. But look, but it, but it is an entity that can, though, right? But rather fear him, fear him, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? Which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. The Lord can take that body and destroy it. Take the spirit, send it back up. Send that spirit right back down into another body. This paraplegic, you didn't heard to say that many times, Israel, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, but you still ain't taking heat. Dude, look, look, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is pissed the hell off, man. You, look, look, no, nobody didn't tell you that, right? Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is pissed the hell off, man. The slain of the Lord shall be from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth, man. But you, but you thought he was all love, love, right? Because you believed in the pastor You didn't believe in what the men of the Lord Was saying out there on the highways and byways And they was coming straight out the book Fear the Lord Israel Revelation chapter 1 verse 7 Behold he cometh with clouds Once again what you ignorantly call UFOs chariots man You see And every eye shall see him Look you ain't gonna be able to just say he's a spirit in that day When Lord Yahweh Shai cracked those clouds With a thousand upon thousand With a thousand upon thousand and thousand, 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 thousand of angels You're not gonna be able to say He's just a spirit You're not gonna say oh, look, I'm covered by the blood I'm blessed and highly favored in that day Especially if you've been, you've been wicked the whole time Our people got some nerve the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they got some nerve. Tell them something, I'm blessed and highly favored. I'm covered by the blood, but they wicked as hell. Committing all kind of abominable acts, but you're going to wish you would have feared the Lord. You're going to wish you would have feared Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, who they even call Jesus, right? Revelation chapter 1, verse 7, behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him. Look, reincarnation scripture right there, man. Back in the flesh. Re means black. Re means back in carnation. Back in the flesh, man. The people that pierced Lord Yahweh Shai, who they even called Jesus over 2,000 years ago, they back now, man. They back now. They don't know. Look, there's no remembrance of former things. They don't know what they did thousands of years ago, but they gon' know when they when Lord Yahweh shall pop up in a humongous chariot. They gon' know, man. And they also which pierced him. And all the kindreds of the earth shall well, meaning scream, holler, a loud pitch sound. You see? They gonna cry a bit, but I thought the Lord was all love, love though, right? I thought the Lord was all love, love. So why are these people going well, man? You see? Why are these people going well when the Lord comes, if he's coming to bring love, hugs, kisses, salvation to everybody? No, man. And all the kindness of the earth shall well because of him, even so our mind. But look, it's a game to you, right, Israel? It's a game. The Lord said, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Look, you, you reject the knowledge. The Lord said, look, I got to reject you then. You see, you rejected knowledge, Israel. So the Lord said, look, 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 I got to reject you. You see, let's get this. Ezekiel 14 and 6, therefore, say unto the house of Israel, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, right? Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, shall repent, turn back, sorrow for Israel. Time is ticking. Time is not on your side, Israel. Look, 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 this is not nationwide. This is your how about Shem Yahushai. Guess what, Israel? Time is not on your side. You, you're playing with time. You see? 
you're playing with it with an entity that, that don't play man so repent Israel you see repent Israel you so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans repent and turn yourselves from your idols and turn away your faces from all your abominations for every one of the house of Israel or of the stranger that sojourned in Israel which separated himself from me and set up his idol in his heart and put up the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face and come to a prophet to inquire of me concerning me look I the Lord will answer him by myself and I will set my face against that man and I will make him a sign. The Lord's going to make you an example. You Israelites that don't turn back. Yahweh Bashim Al is going to make you an example, man. Of what happens when you don't fear the Lord, man. You see? And I will make him a sign and a proverb. And I will cut him off from the midst of my people. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. That's why it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Now, I, I got to get it. I keep quoting it. I must be allowed to get it. Let's get it then, man. Let's get it then, Israel. Let's get it. Get it? Hebrews chapter 10, verse 30. For we know him that have said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. Vengeance, man. I will recompense. The Lord says he's going to pay you back, said the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. That's what you see going forth. Judgment, man. The Lord is judging Israel, man. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the leaven of power. You, you see that, Israel? It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the leaven of power. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. A, a fearful thing. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 12. For man also knoweth not his time. You don't know when the Lord's going to judge you. You don't know when he's going to call your number, Israel. You sitting around still playing. The Lord said when he comes, he's going to plead with all flesh, with fire, and by a sword. Gonna, that's how he's going to judge you if you don't repent, right? For man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in a snare, meaning a trap. So are the sons of men snared in an evil time, meaning these bad times, right? You're trapped up, you get trapped up, you get snared, right? When it falleth suddenly upon them Look, when it falleth suddenly upon you And that's how it's going to happen The Lord already told us to walk circumspectly Not as fools, but as wise Redeeming the time because the days are evil But Israel said, I'm good The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans Look, look they, they say they good They don't need the Lord They got their money They got their notoriety They, say they got their fame Every, the, Look, the whole world loves them Because they, they um swimming in wickedness they said ain't nothing gonna happen to him, but this is what the Lord had to say. Amos chapter 9, verse 10. All the sinners, what is sin? Transgression of the law. All the sinners of my people. See that word my is possessive. You didn't know that though, right? You didn't know that Yahweh by Shimia was shot, who you equally call God and Jesus Christ, has a chosen people, right? Has a people that he has a nation that he loves, right? He says, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, shall die by the sword man what's the sword in the killing instrument he's he's gonna use sleaze to eat the, the steam roll over you israelites man which say the e was meaning these bad times shall not overtake nor prevent us see israel still swimming in, in iniquity they they hear these words and look the majority of our people they know who they are man they know they're the hebrew israelites and they know what's commanded of them according to the bible but do you think they're thinking about it do, do you really think Israel is thinking about Yahweh by Shem Yahushua? Hell no. Our people ain't thinking about Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. They're like, man, come on. Our people are doing their thing right about now. The last thing they think about is the Lord, but it's a requirement that we fear Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. You, you didn't know that either, huh? Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel, a people before us a place. Well, once again, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, right? And you Israelite foreigners that's been scattered among these different heathens. Just because you look like them, that don't mean you are them. We got a total, totally different spirit than these heathen nations, man. All right? And now Israel, what doeth the Lord thy power require of thee? Look, look, demand, command. What does the Lord command us to do? But to fear. That was the first thing. But to fear the Lord thy power. To walk in all his ways. 
and to love him. So we got to rehearse the righteous acts. You see, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai say he, he, he loveth none but those that dwelleth with wisdom, right? But to fear the Lord thy power, to walk in all his ways, and to love him. Love is keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, right? Stop saying you love the Lord and you got a pork chop sandwich in your mouth, right? Stop saying you love the Lord when if you're a woman and you deal with like four or five different men. Just stop it, all right? Just stop it, man, all right? Stop saying that you love the Lord if you still celebrate Christmas, your birthday, your grandma's birthday, Valentine's Day, Easter egg hunting, and all that other nonsense, man. Halloween and all that. Stop. Just stop it, Israel. Just stop it. You're looking real tacky. And to serve the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and the statutes which I command thee this day for thy good. Did, did you hear that, Israel? Did you hear that? Because the Lord said, look, he's going to bring great misery upon you people. You see? What did it, what it say? A, a whole lot of Israelites going to die because they despise the word. Let's get that right quick. Let's get it right quick. Second Ezra chapter 7. Verse 20. And it reads, for there be many that perish in this life. Perish means to die in this generation because they despise the law of Yahweh by Shemia Rashi that is set before them. So you want to know how you, you want to really know why a whole lot of Israelites are going to die because they despise the words of Yahweh by Shemia Rashi. The book is right here. Look, look, the book is right here, Israel. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 3. The book is right here. Yeah, the B I B L E is right here. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 3. There be many created. Look, look, look. Billions of people on the face of the earth. Guess what? But few, few shall be saved. You didn't know that either, did you? Few shall be saved, Israel. But you, you run around, playing around. Israel is running. The Lord just said, look, I'm getting ready to kill a whole lot of people. But, oh, yeah, Israel still playing around like the clock is on their side. The clock ain't on your side, man. Time ain't on your side. Sirach chapter 5, also known as Ecclesiasticus chapter 5 verse 7, make no tarrying to turn to the locals. Remember, man knoweth not his time. Make no tarrying. And the word tarry means to wait. Don't wait. Do, 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 do not wait. Look, are, are you not seeing what's going on? This man is making it mandatory that you go holler at Vanessa Williams, man. All hell breaking loose. They get rid look, they already going door to door, but you still playing around like ain't nothing going on. You, you secure, right? You, you got your job, so you you secure, right? Uh, look, look, uh, okay. Make no cherry to turn to the Lord. And put not, oh, that's what the Lord says, seek the Lord ten times more. It was our mind to go astray. So be in return, seek him ten times more, right? And that, look, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly, when you least expect it, that's how the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. Suddenly, for suddenly, Shall the wrath of the Lord come forth? Shall the wrath of the Lord come forth? And in thy security, look, look, when you're comfortable, when you're at ease, when you when you think you ain't got nothing to worry about, in thy security thou shalt be destroyed, Israel, and perish. They're gonna word perish again, and perish in the day of vengeance. What part of this story are you not hearing? What part of the scriptures are you not hearing? The Lord said, I'm bringing forth judgment each and every day. What part of this story aren't you hearing, Israel? You, 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 you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you don't listen to nothing, but you're going to wish you did. Psalm chapter 34, verse 9. Oh, fear the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, ye his saints, which are the Israelites. For there is no one to them that fear him. You fear Yahweh by Shem Shai, you're not going to be lacking anything. You see, you're not going to be lacking anything. And I, I got to get that Proverbs right quick. Got to get that Proverbs 1 to 7. You see, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord. Yeah, how about Shem Yahweh? I, 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 look, look, I'm thankful that the Lord got his spirit on me to continue to do these fear lessons. Because it's the beginning of knowledge, man. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. 
But fools, blockheads, meatballs, jackass, that's the majority of you Israelites, you so-called Nick Rose, Latinos, and Native Americans, that's the majority of y'all, man. A bunch of fools. The fools despise wisdom and instruction. You'll listen to anybody up under the sun. But when men come out bringing the truth according to the Bible, you say, no, nah, I, I, I ain't listening to them. I don't, I don't even hear them. I'm putting my fingers in my ears when I see them. But you're going to wish you took them out. You see? The look, the eyes of the Lord see everything, man. Beholding the evil and the good, and you got to pay for what you did. You look, look, Israel, you you didn't know that either, though, right? You, you got to pay for everything that you did. Be sure you repent. Galatians chapter six verse seven: Be not deceived. Yahweh is not mocked. You can't make fun of the Lord or His men. This preaching His word. Yahweh is not mocked. Or look, most definitely, or his only begotten son. You can't make fun of Yahweh by Shemel Shai or his men that he got set up to teach this word. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap, man. You reap what you sow. You out there committing wicked acts. Judgment is coming for you, man. Judgment is coming. Isaiah 13. Verse 6. How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand. Scream, holler, moan, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. You're going to bug the hell out, man. You Israelites out there, y'all y'all going to really bug the hell out, right? And they shall be afraid. Pain and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth, and they shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. That's why the scripture says, Woe to you that desire the day of the Lord. You wicked is on the way, and you still desiring the day of the Lord. You Israelites still ain't repenting yet. All these years, the apostles have been teaching on the internet, on the YouTube since 2007. Millions of Israelites that heard this word and still ain't turned back yet, man. All, to look, 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 all these years, man, 14, 15 years that passed by, and Jake's still wicked as hell after hearing this truth, man. That's why you got shootings happening in each and every day. You know House fires, our people getting caught up in everything, all this judgment they getting caught up in, man. You see? All this judgment, behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate. and the Lord's going to destroy this place so come, man. And this look, look, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof. I don't remember the, the sinners that say the evils, meaning these bad times, ain't gonna overtake nor prevent them from committing wicked acts. Yeah, yeah, you. The Lord's gonna come and destroy you. You see? You Israel, still worshiping Allah, Buddha, Santa Maria, worshiping yourself, worshiping your money, worshiping your job. You see? Wait, look, we supposed to worship Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Who you think gave you the job? Who you think get oh yeah, you got some people worshiping their car. You see? You got some people worshiping their car, man. Deuteronomy 13, 4. Ye shall walk after the Lord your power, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, and fear him, and keep his commandments, and bold and obey his voice. What's the voice of the Lord? The men teaching. Starting off with the apostles. Slash elder bishops of great millstone and the men on down. And obey his voice. And ye shall serve him and cleave unto him, man. You see? We supposed to cleave unto the words of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. But, but what our people do? They ignore the words of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. You see? Let's get this. St. Luke chapter 1 verse 50. And his mercy is on them that fear him. Did you, did you hear that, Israel? The Lord is going to show mercy, a.k.a. compassion, on the Israelites that fear him. You, you see how important fear is now? Are, 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 you, are you getting it? You see how important fear is now? St. Luke 1 and 50. And his mercy, and his mercy, and his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation, man. Every time you come back, because you come back every third or fourth generation, and if you fear the Lord in your former life, he showed you mercy. You come back again, he showed you mercy. You come back again, he showed you mercy. Why? Because you fear, man. Okay? You fear Yahweh by Shemel Shai. That's the only way you're going to receive mercy is if you fear. These are some heavy scriptures, man. These are some heavy scriptures. Look, look, look. Just straight to the point. 
Psalms 147 and 11, the Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him. The Lord, the Lord taketh pleasure in the Israelites that fear him because death and destruction surrounds us, man. Nothing but hard times, nothing but bad times, chaos. You know what I'm saying? People are bugging the hell out, man. And the Lord is showing us mercy. You see? Keeping food in our mouth. The Lord is doing everything for us, man. Me to tell me, we, we can't even fear the God of the Bible that's protecting us, that's keeping us safe, that, that puts food on our table, that keeps us alive. Remember, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. You forgot about that too, right? One, Psalms 147 and 11. The Lord, Yahweh, by Shimei, I will take a pleasure in them that fear him in those that hope in his mercy. I just want to bring out a quick lesson through the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei, I will just fear him, man. Just fear the Lord. Look, 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 look. Bless all those that fear Yahweh by Shimei, I will man. Do not take this word for granted. We must not take this word for granted. Because remember, Isaiah 33 and 6. And the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures shall be the stability of thy times, right? And strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Remember, Israel, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. So, Rock chapter 19, verse 18. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is the first step to be accepted of him. And wisdom obtaineth. His love. You see? That's the first step of you being accepted by Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So, so, so look around at the Israelites. Look around at the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that's not fearing the Lord. You think the Lord is accepting them? You think the Lord is hearing their prayers? Hell no, man. The Lord ain't hearing their prayers. The Lord ain't accepting them. At least they repent. At least they fear. Once again, Sirach 1918, the fear of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is the first step to be accepted of him. And wisdom, which is the fear of the Lord, obtaineth his love. And Lord willing, the elect was edified, man. You see? Sirach 1 and 21, the fear of the Lord driveth away sins. Because remember, the wages of sin is death. And where it is present, it turneth away wrath. Where the fear of the Lord at? If you fear the Lord, that turns away his wrath from you, man. You see? The Israelites that don't fear the Lord, look, his wrath is dead upon them, man. Okay? His wrath is dead upon them. Lord willing, the elect is edified, man. The fear of the Lord. Shalom.